Sharonda Williams pay your weight. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, Sharonda. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm loving these flowers, making me feel like I'm outside and fresh. I know. Air. I feel if I'm not going to be outside, I can at least look like a garden. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right. One of the things that I, I love about your character is how it reinforces women having, you know, agency over their own bodies and yeah. their care. And I really wanted to know, like, has this changed your view of how society um, views women? Like, because I, I feel like constantly our bodies are always under attack by other pe people other than women. Um, so how has this broadened your view or changed your view of how society views women's agency over their bodies? Um, it's been fascinating for me just to see the fact that it, it actually made me realize that the uh, most of the fertility doctors tend to be male. I never really thought about it until this movie. And I thought, oh, that's it. Because my, my youngest sister is an OBGYN, actually. But, mm -hmm. um, but in, read, in doing this project, I suddenly, re I suddenly realized most of the do most m fertility doctors are men. And why is that, you know? And um, because I would think I've never had a child, never have I wanted to have a child, but I've always felt like if I did, I would. it would seem the most natural thing is to go to a female yeah. person, but it's not always the case. And therefore with this movie, I thought it made perfect sense that Ilana Glazer's character would seek out a female fertility expert because why wouldn't you? That's who you should have gone to in the first place. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes me think of my first experience going to the gynecologist. And when my mom took me and there was this man, I was like, sis, where, where my doctor at? Like, why is this man, like, why is this my first experience yes. when learning about my body? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so that's why a movie like this is so powerful. But most importantly, with your character, um, you know, because when you look at mortality rates when dealing with fertility or dealing with childbirth, you know, people who look like us, we're high on that list because mm -hmm. no one really advocates for us. And so I wanted you to speak about how powerful it is for you to play that person who really guides her to understand the power that she has. I think for me more than, first of all, the most, in watching the film for the first time, I remember just actually being horrified at, at the idea that <laughs> the doctor is male. You know, because it's such a it's such a vulnerable personal experience when you go and see this thinking, my God, you were like literally all up in there, and, 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 and there should be someone. <laughs> you know, it was really interesting, and I thought it's. I actually thought of how unpowerful women were in that regard, just mm -hmm. from seeing that one. Is, because my first experience going to a gynecologist was also a male doctor as well. And I remember just thinking, this is so odd. And I never thought about it until I saw the film. And I thought, why, why, why don't we have more of an option of going to a female doctor? I mean, they probably are out there, but I don't know. I've never really explored it that deeply. I just thought more about it in doing this film. And uh, because going to my character, Grace, is such a powerful thing that she did because it made so much sense. I grew up in Sierra Leone in West Africa. And, you know, as much as everyone does what's known as conventional Western medicine, it's perfectly normal. It's, it's actually common practice to meld traditional medicine with conventional medicine. So that is what people do in, in certainly where I come from, my culture. It's like you would go see your conventional doctor, but you also go and see you know the traditional country herbal person you know <laughs> it's the best of both worlds i mean it's when you're watching the film there's something in your spirit it just i when i was watching i was like something doesn't feel right in my spirit with this i just i don't feel like she's protected the way that she should be and you know i really want to know for you because it's been so thought-provoking for us to reanalyze like our you know views and how we've experienced learning about ourselves what message do you want to leave the audience with after watching this film <laughs> there's so many messages i could give them but one of them one of them is be careful what you wish for yeah but when you make that wish be specific about what you want because you know sometimes the universe can give you what you asked for and it may not be what you actually wanted right you know or expected so and don't assume don't make assumptions that people at first, you know, at, at first face value, you know, because you never know. People are so much more nuanced, so much more complex. 
than you give them credit for, you know, and it's all about perspective. Look, I'm side-eyeing everyone now after this movie, um, but I want to thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Um, I really enjoyed watching you on screen, and I'm just sending you more love and light your way. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, Sharonda. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye.